Good morning, everybody. I am just coming on. <clears throat> Not much to share. I just wanted to come on for Saturday Morning Makes with Jill Norwood, hosted by Jill Norwood. Um, and many, many people, creative people, are here on YouTube that share on Saturdays or around Saturdays. So I wanted to be a part of that again this week. Um, I'm trying to find, but I guess it's not that important. <laughs> anyway, I did this Happy Halloween, <clears throat> and that's the die I got from um, Gina Marie. Check her out. She has some awesome, fun goodies in there. She has her own dies that she designs, and she also sells other things as well, so from other companies. But um, reasonable prices. So I used... That die, which I don't have over here, and the purple came from this pad that I got from My Creative Time. And then also from My Creative Time, I used this Torn Edges, Torn Paper Frame Die Layers. And so that's what you see there. And I just did my Distress Watercolor crayon, or Pencils, I keep wanting to call them crayons. And I did it in orange, and then I came back with a purple and kind of gave it that, what is that, um, ombre look. Then these, I colored the bats purple with a little bit of black. And then these came from, I've had these in my stash for a while, glitter set from Recollections, I think maybe last year, I don't know, but I found these in there and they have bats and spiders so i use those <clears throat> the, the bats and then i recently went there and in the section that has right before you get in line it used to be like the dollar bins but now this was on i was able to buy one get one half off i think so i got this one and it had um this ghost in there of course what do I do? I spill it, so there's probably still ghosts and spiders hanging around. Yep, I see them on the floor. <laughs> anyway, it's like, oh my gosh. Anyway, so I just thought that turned out so cute. I just sat and played last night. I will probably just use this in, as an embellishment in a junk journal. We will see. And then other people had also I finished my little snowman that I did with the Tim Holtz um, watercolor pencils. And they were going, they also work good for splattering. And you are so correct. I'm so thankful people make these comments because then I'm like, oh, yeah. So I just took a brush, obviously, a paintbrush, got it wet, went into my, the color I wanted. And then you just go like this and it makes a splattering around. So you just move and splatter. When I used to do toll painting, we would take a toothbrush, get it wet, and do it, and then go like this. So I started going like that, and it just wasn't working, and then I remember seeing somebody do this. But a toothbrush also gives a good splatter. But anyway, so I just think he turned out so cute. So, and then I did the torn edges and came in with, um, and so there was that red smooch over there of whatever's. And I like that torn edge look, and then I did some blue, just went in and... Um, with the Distress watercolors. Now people were like, oh, I must have them. If you already have, I mean, I love them. Don't get me wrong. I'm very happy with them. But, you know, they're not, I don't know. I would say that they're great. If you like the Tim Holtz Distress colors like I do, that's a, it's a win situation. But if you're somebody that just is getting into, I think I mentioned this before, I would start out with something like watercolor crayons or something cheaper just to give it a go before I invested in these. That's just kind of my, I really like them, don't get me wrong, but, and I don't think I will ever, <laughs> I talked about this too, I just use this, I'll dip onto it with my wet paintbrush and go like this, or I will add, if it's a bigger space, some color that way and then paint, you know, water it up. So I don't think you need to, people were, because they're so blunt. So anyway, but yeah, I'm enjoying, I'm having fun and they're sitting out here. So therefore I use them, right? That's what I got to do. And I don't remember what I've shared. I know I've shared my junk journal. Didn't really get a chance to work on it this week, but um, there's that front with the beautiful card that I received. And then the folder, I think I've shown all of this. 
I decided just to do like a gratitude journal. So I love gnomes. So here's my gnome page. And then I had these left over from cutting out the hearts. So I just framed the hearts around a couple of gnomes and things and thought that turned out cute. And here is this page and this page. So this is a uh, kind of a flip open. Um, got masking tape. Rebecca Hoot was sharing that she uses masking tape in different colors from Amazon. So I did that. And there's a Dollar Tree. And this is a flip up. Um, you'll see this again because I'll share it as I go. But anywho. So I think what you may not have seen. I don't remember what I show. I don't remember what I had for dinner last night half the time. So anyway. And I'm loving these. Um leather like I just cut the cut the um rope off or whatever and just put it on there with a brad and then this one I used what I had taken off the other leaf and used it at the top of this tag so I thought that turned out perfect there's a digital in the back for a picture so much fun. And then, of course, Grateful will be also. And there's one of the leather words from Dollar Tree. Hopefully you can see that. And some metal. These are some stickers from Dollar Tree. I did some embossing and then um, distressing on that. Did a heart. A couple hearts. Put a pumpkin from Dollar Tree stickers. And then there's this. I should have left this as a pocket. Ugh, and now I'm mad at myself. Anyway, if I had to put glue like right here, then you could be a tuck spot. And there's that. And there's that masking tape again. This is the um, not too shabby paper. Gorgeous. And I think I have one, yeah, one more section. And here again, oops. It's a flippin' and a floppin' is a, one of the blessed words because now that I got the great, and I tucked this in there and didn't glue it all the way down. So there's that. <clears throat> and then I just took, uh, you've seen this before, you take your um, circle punch and just go halfway in and it makes that indentation. And this is from a Not Too Shabby Paper. This is Martha Stewart, some washi. And then I did this. So those are those little clippings that are left. Perfect. I, did I glue that underneath? Yes, I glued it underneath. And then I covered that up with some ribbon from, I believe, Dollar Tree. And then pictures can go here, whatever I want to do. So yeah, this is super, super fun and relaxing. So I just haven't had time. I'm back to work. You know how that goes. So... Um, but yeah, I'm just going to finish that up. I'm going to just um, do that up and then add the picture. Somebody said just decorate it and the rest will fall into place. And that's kind of how the idea of the great gratitude journal came into place. Is, is like, okay, this rather than a monthly for right now. I mean, doesn't mean I won't. Um, the other thing I'm wanting to start is I got all those golden books. So I'm looking at different people's way. There's so many ways to do a golden book binding. And I'm like, oh my gosh, so many choices, so much to do, so little time. And I'm always so I have to have a nap and whatever, you know, and you have to do life, right? So anyway, check out Satmore and Makes. That's it for me. Not much, nothing too exciting, but I wanted to pop in and say good morning and hope everybody has a great weekend. I've got Margaret's coming over after she gets, um, has an appointment here in town and then going to her son's house in a town near me, but so that gives her a few hours between. I said, well, come on over. She wants to try out. She's, I'm impulsive. She thinks about things. She's very smart, right? So anyway, I said, before you decide, because she has, like me, many different options. So I said, come and check these out and then make your decision. I will be the purchaser. So and you can sample mine. So that's what she's going to do. We're going to craft for a couple hours and then off she goes. So that'll be fun. It's weird not to see her every day now, so it's kind of like we're trying to both adjust to that. 
I don't know. Anyway, after, what, 23 years of working together, that's kind of a shocker. All right, guys, take care and check out everybody else's. And thank you, Jill, for your wonderful collab. It's awesome. We all enjoy it so much. All right, take care, guys. Goodbye.